Hebrews 11 verse 1 <coughs> I will read verse 3 and verse 6 verse 1 verse 1 Now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen Na indi mwiki oni kila kimanida sia view maundu ala mekwati twe na nikila kiki dasia maundu ala matoneka Vastri by faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen were made of things which are not visible Kondu wa mwiki oni tu manaka na ndinisiombiwe na ndeto ya ngai na sindu ila sioneka itiao itiao mbwa kuma sindu ni sieneke Verse 6 but without faith it is impossible to please him for he who comes to God must believe that he is and he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him Na vatemu ikiyo kuitoneka kumwendesia kumwendesia nundu ulauka kwa ngai muvaka etikilekana evo na ingi kana nu manengae it to be alama mumanda we are talking about walking by faith twinenya yulu wa ukinela muikioni if you want you can add walking by faith 2022 kana noto na kwasi kukinela muikioni mwaka wa ngilile na miongwele na ile substance is in science is a matter ila tu nene ya ulu wa kindu ni substance ni kita wo substance is, is something that you can hold something you can see this speaker is substance it is, it is matter it is, it is matter a material thing In the Bible dictionary, dictionary ni ya Biblia ya Asiati, substance is something that is existing by itself. Kindu nikila kizikali techo ene kikiro kizikali kichoka. Something that is real. Chumbitwe kikombe kichoka. Something that is not imaginary. Kindu chawo ticha usuania. When I'm talking that when I'm saying I'm holding a microphone I am not imagining I am not trusting I am not believing I am actually holding it because it is substance substance is also the the vital element or the vital part of anything what is the substance of the issue we are gathered here what is the substance of our gathering what is the most vital thing that we came to do you are having a discussion or you are making a presentation what is the substance of your matter so that at the end of the day we say that you have dealt with the substance and that is why someone can present for 30 minutes And you hear people saying he, his presentation had no substance. So the presentation is not is not is nothing what is most important is the substance of the presentation. Now the Bible says that faith is the substance of things hoped for. When you have this microphone, ila ukwete microphone you do not need faith. 
tuenda muikio because you already have it nundu wina yo mokoni you cannot be believing god for a microphone when you have it tutona kuidwa uyikia ngai nundu wa microphone umekwete so you can only apply faith for things that you are hoping for kondu uyu wea wa muikio utona uted ya wea ila wa wa sia ni kwati tie kuidwa na kitu things that you don't have yet mba siendu ute namba ukwata things that are not here yet siendu ite namba ukabala uwe but things that you have a great expectation and trust that they will happen indi ndini wa kuno si kwati tie kana ipinda zimwe ni kuikwata hope is the feeling of expectation you in the quick quart you are nicola me will la kusha is your ni ni kwata hoping for something kula kwi kwati sia undu it is a great desire for a particular thing to happen ni mukusisho na kwenda kwingi kwa kindu kidhiwe when we pray for the sick ila tu bodhe ya allah we are hoping they will recover we may kwadisia uposio we have a great expectation twina wete lo wa kuona maipo we have a great desire that they will recover twina wendi wa kuona me aima so that is our hope that when we pray they will recover kondu we kwato we to nikana ila tu boya nime uboa now it is faith is also the evidence of things not seen muikio nikila kimanza sia maundu ala matoneka evidence yani niki kidia evidence is something which shows that another thing exists kikidia nikila kidwa kitona usia tukasia ndo monani wekiwe nicho kikidia cha undu wekikie evidence is something that shows that another thing exists kiki yani wona ni wa kindu kingi ni kidhi iwe kana undungi ni wethi iwe i have a phone nina simu it is wa- i am telling you the phone is working na ni asia kana simu ya kwa yewe ya ni 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 sawa evidence you ki ki ya cha yewe ya na i will put on the, the the switch on the button of power nikula kubini ya kalaka 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 ndoka umekwati it will go on na wa mekwati to lona ya kwata i will play with the screen na tuliona wadhauka na screen and make a call na tuliona wakunio mundu si and you have evidence that the phone is good na indi ulasia ni naiki ya kana simu le sawa that is why when you go to buy something from the shops you to meet the mundu adhi kuwa kindu ba mtu kani you tell them to test it for you wamba ume akeki ya nglobu isu na onelea kana evidence that it is working kiki ya cha nglobu ye uyani ni kwa kana so the going on of the bulb is evidence that when you go home it must work that is evidence now faith the bible says is the substance is the substance of things we are hoping for I am praying and hoping for a microphone. Niende na ubora ni kie ni kwate mic. And I say that I have a microphone. Na ni asia ni na mic microphone. I don't have it now. Yundi na yo sao, but I am saying I have it. Ndi ni asia ni na yo. Then you ask me how do you have a microphone and in your hand there is no microphone Na ndi wingulia na ta ndi we are say we na microphone and you know me kwete I show you my faith Na ndi you ndi kuonya muikio because the faith that I'm holding No ndi muikio la ngwati lile is the substance that I have it Ni cho cho na nyo chaka na ndi ne mic Now that looks crazy You ndi you can kueleza kwina because faith is foolishness no no muiki ya ile kwa wewe utuman to those that are perishing kwa sio la mekwa but to those who believe ili kwa sio la meiki ya it is the power of god unto salvation ni bina wanga hii kupikia unotangi the bible says let the sick say i am healed biblia ya sia eka ula muwau asiye ni mubosi you are sick now you are muwau Healing is tomorrow. Na ndio bosho ni uni. 
or some days to come. But you are not saying I will be healed. The Bible is telling you to say I am healed. How are you healed? Because the evidence I am healed is the faith I profess. When you speak in faith, you have what you want. What you hope and desire for. You have it. Faith contradicts natural eyes. Faith contradicts the natural. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. They shall not live by what they see. They shall live by what they believe. They shall live by what they confess. Your children could be haywire. The natural says my children are not good. Faith says my children are blessed of God. My children will be great. My children will prosper. The neighbors will look at you are you saying those things. And they will laugh at you. But that is not their business. Your business is to take care of what you believe. The woman with, a, with an issue of blood. In Matthew chapter 19. Chapter 9. From verse 20 to 22. The Bible says that this woman. Went through the crowd. And touched the hem of his garment. And touched the hem of his and then the Bible says, for she had said to herself, if only I may touch the hem of his garment, I will be well. Now look at this. Jesus is a human being, a full human being. He can lay hands on her. She could have gone and intercepted him like the blind Matthias. Matthias cried out in the middle of the crowd. And said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. She could have done that. She could have even gone near to where he was. She could have done many things. Healing was not to be found only in the hem of his garment. It could have been found in very many ways. But she believed that I am going to touch that hem. And if I touch it, I will be whole. She believed with her whole heart that even the slightest touch on Jesus was enough to make her whole. And she went through the crowd and touched it. And Jesus turns to her and says, my daughter, your faith has made you whole. What faith? Faith that if I touch, 
She could have said, if I go to where he is and tell him my problem. She could have said many other things. But she had a faith in her heart that I will touch it and I will be whole. It looked foolish. She said to herself, now if she had said to the people around her, they would have told her Jesus does not heal like that. Jesus mixes mud and applies on your eyes. Jesus does not heal this way. Then they would have said that this is a miracle. In fact, we have not heard of him healing through his garments. They would have told her what you are trying is foolishness. But she did not tell anyone. She said to herself and she practiced her own faith. What she believed is what she went for. Faith is personal. If you tell me your faith, it will be absurdity to me. Or, or nonsense to another. Because men have wisdom that dictates how things are done. The Bible says we understand by faith. That the worlds were created by the word of God. By science. By science. Matter is created. You are an electrical engineer. You do not say let there be a speaker. Speaker ikue. Speaker ikue. Matter is molded. Anaunda. Kwa sababu vitu vya ulimwengu huu vinaundwa. Lakini kwa imani tuna understand kwamba vitu ambavyo viko ambavyo vinaishi kwa hii dunia ambavyo tunatarajia zifanyike vitu za kiroho vinaundwa kupitia kwa mambo ambayo hayaonekani We can create speakers by crafting them. But we can create an environment of worship by faith. These speakers can come here and give us a very good sound. Natural things molded. But there are spiritual things in the best in the the spiritual environment the spiritual environment of worship can you hardly can only be created by faith you can craft a good team but the environment and the, and how they operate is determined by the faith you apply. A good church is not a church with good infrastructure. It is a church that practices faith. Without faith, you become a gathering. 
It's just a gathering. Faith creates things we want to see. What do we want to see in 2022? What do you want to see in your department? What do you want to see in the ministry? It is to be created by things you cannot see. If you if you are if we are going to make it as a church infrastructure is good they give us a good place to worship leadership is good it lays structures of operation rules and regulations are good they govern how people relate with each other and an institution cannot function without those things but when we gather we gather not to look at the beauty of the things we have. We gather to deal with spiritual matters. We gather to deal with destinies. We gather to deal with spiritual lives of people. We gather to deal with the issues that are pertaining to our families and businesses. When you open up your business in town, you stock it well and you do a good advertisement. And it looks beautiful. But even with those things, you need to penetrate in the spiritual for you to penetrate in the physical. You need to penetrate. No ulike. If you see a business that is doing well, look at the spiritual lives of the owners. They are penetrating. And because some of them cannot penetrate in this, don't want to penetrate through God. They go to the other dark spiritual world. But however they are doing it, the spiritual is involved. There can never be a, a physical penetration without a spiritual penetration. Whatever is seen was created in a world that was not seen. What do you want for your children? What do you want for your business? What do you want for your church? What do you want for your marriage? What do you want for your physical health? Whatever you want will be determined whether you get it or not will be determined on whether you penetrate in the spirit. In 2022 at the end of the year there will be a clear distinction between those that penetrated in the spirit and those that did not. It will be clear. There will be a clear distinction 
wakethiwa na kibadhukanio kinene chumelete between those that penetrated in the spirit katikati wasu ala matone ye bevani and those that did not na ala matene tonya we do not walk by our power tuikinila undu wa binani wetu we walk by faith indukinila ba muikion Faith can be foolishness can be said to be foolishness. Mwiki onuto na uweto kanani to tumani. Because the things that faith tells you to do. Nundu maundwala mwiki yo ukuya ika. Look foolish. Maundwazu kwa kusisi ani to tumani. Look at Moses. And those is Moses. Moses is in Egypt. Moses e misli. And he has done everything that he can. Na cho ndiki loto na kwika ni wiki. Send nine plagues to the children of Egypt na atuma mo kuno kenda kwa hana maya misli and still nothing is happening na bado payundu unaweza kuikwa maana is over and god tells him prepare the passover na ngaye imwe asobia ka mboka ya pasaka smear blood on your doorsteps on your door posts ni za zandaka make the kuni cha cha muomo now moses has done many things that are physical na yu mose maundu ala mone kama kawaida ni weka mainge snakes na um, na zoka ngala nuetsie na ngala na msiwa and frogs na siwa the river has turned red na ndaka mea si usi atu kandaka me everything visible that could have caused fear kinu cho ndi kinu kilo no tele mia mundu waka tele ma he has done it ni wikie na amina now he told smear blood you eh wakito dinza na in wa dinza ndakame mizangesia is wondering okay they were at walikata kuogopa maji ikiwa nyekundu ni maana ya miwe ni udhaua sasa damu ku mizangesia bau ona mundu ni usani na wana egypt wanapitia pale wanasema hii ni nini na misli mailo kuislam meslam akulia ndio jao kikiende Tulikataa kuogopa hizo vitu zingine zote hii ni nini sasa hii Ke the wasi ndlasi hotel me ina to tell me you get chao chao But the Bible says by faith he kept the passover and the sprinkling of blood Ini mandi come as a kondo wa mwikio ni weani si mawiko ma ma basak He kept the passover by faith ni weki ni wasai si kuyanisia undu wa basak He said as foolish as it may look If this is what you say God is going to help us. I will believe it and I will do it. And he caused everybody to do it. They must have asked him many questions. But by faith they believed it. By faith they knew. If God is saying this, then it must be sure. By faith they knew that this must come to pass. And they obeyed it. You will never have full obedience unless you are a man of faith. Because everything you receive you will apply it with your mind. Full obedience is application of faith. When God gives you a strategy you don't apply your mind to it. You obey fully in faith. That is faith. And faith fosters obedience. By faith. Moses went to the Red Sea. And God says strike the water. Foolishness. Usino utumanuo uko na kiu. Hata ukipiga hiyo maji mali umepiga hutapashika. Ona ona kawaida ukakuna kiu. Uma bala wako ni lokai wani wako ni laba. But by faith, ini muikion, he applied the foolishness. Atumia usuri to utumanu. The foolishness of man. Ulo utumanu wa Mungu. Mixed it with faith. Au bulani na muikio. And the Bible says the whole night the water parted. Na maandiko mazi ya utukumuima ukangosu wedo watu kanite watu so bitenzia. 
and they stepped into dry land every step was a step of faith the water is here and here and they are in deep deep into the sea and they know by faith we will get out that was faith and let me tell you what is foolish faith Foolish faith is what we call foolish courage. The children of Pharaoh tried it. They saw the water and a dry path. God had not spoken about them. God had not given them a word. They did not understand how he did it. And foolishly they got into the water. Foolish courage. And you know what is foolish faith? Is attempting to do things that look like faith and God is not in them. God did not give you a strategy. God did not give you a plan. God did not tell you what to do. God did not say take this step. You did not involve God. And you go to start a business in town. Foolish courage. And you start invoking faith. When things are bad. You will drown. You will drown. We cannot apply foolish faith and courage. Our courage must be coming from a point of faith. So that when things get thick, we can always go to God and say, you are the one who told me. You told me to do this. I did it as you told me. The Bible says that the steps of a righteous man are ordered by God. They are ordered by God. And he delights in his paths. Though he may fall, he will not be utterly cast out because the Lord upholds him with his right hand. If the Lord has ordered your steps and you are walking in them by faith, although you may fall down, the Lord will be holding you up because you are not alone. You went with God. And in 2022, my brothers, let us determine to walk with God. Let us walk in faith. When Moses went to the, the, the place where there was no water, and the people complained about water, and Moses went to God and said, these people will stone me. God tells Moses, pick a few elders and go with them to the rock. And then the, the Lord says, I will stand before you, before the rock. And you will strike it. And it shall bring forth water. 
Yaani Mungu anamwambia, "Ngai emuyati, enda kwa mawe. Wenyu endo bala baibia. Simama mbele ya mawe, na unga moba mbele wayo, na mimi nitasimama mbele yako." Na kwa yu ni unga maoba ambe waku. Yani katikati ya mawe na wewe. Kwa kubi emu ya kana katikati ni unga maba katikati wakunebia. Nitakuwa hapo. Nilo ba katikati wakunebia. Wewe utapigia mawe. Weyu wezi ukili ya mundata ya wakunu ikunebia. Ni nani ametoa maji. Na nu ulo kumia kivu. Ula wako na nu. Ni Musa ama ni mungu. Lo ula wumia kivu ni ngai kanale mose. Kwa sababu mungu yuko mbele ya Musa mbele ya mawe. Nundu ngai au ngamite mbe wa Mose na in mbe wa ngai ndipo bebia we will face all the issues of life in 2022 twezi kukoma na na ukili ya maundwala mengili na miongoni na ile with god standing between us and the issues ngai au ngamite katikati waitu na maundwa sio na utotele manja may the lord stand before you ngai no ngamambe waku May the Lord stand before you and your enemy. May the Lord stand before you and your ministry. May the Lord stand before you and your marriage. May the Lord stand before you and the health you want. May the Lord stand before you and your mountains. May the Lord stand before you and your valleys. Because with the Lord standing before us. Every rock will produce water. What seems so hard will not be hard. Our tears will be wiped away. Our sorrows will be no more. Because the Lord stands before us. And he told Moses, I am Moses. I will be with you. For you have found favor with me. I will speak my name before you. Yaani utafika hapo. Yaani you will come come. Na utapata jina langu lilikuwa mbele yako. Na wapi kama huwa bika ukeni sifa yako ya bio. Utapata jina langu lilishatengeneza mambo. Ukeni sifa yako kwa hiyo ofisi ya mambo. My name and the power in my name will be before you. Sifa yako na bila wewe usitoa ndako ikatongosha mambo. I will speak my name before you. Kane na sifa yako yenda mbe wako. That is all we need for 2022. And now we want to declare by faith concerning our things. We are not going to walk by sight. For we do not walk by sight but by faith. Whatever we see, whatever is so discouraging, whatever is so painful, by faith, we place the Lord before it. And we want to make a declaration. Rise up on your feet and we are going to start this year with power. We are going to start this year with power. And we are going to declare things. We are going to declare about our spiritual health. We shall be whole in the spirit. We shall be healthy in the spirit. We shall not be intimidated by demons. We shall prevail in prayer. We shall prevail in words. We shall prevail in every area of the spiritual realm. We shall overcome in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let us speak about our spiritual wellness. Let us speak about our spiritual breakthrough. Declare what you want for your spiritual health. Declare what you want for your spiritual health. In the name of Jesus, we shall be conquerors. We shall prevail. We shall prevail. Every spirit that has been fighting us, we are going to prevail against it. The spirit of the old, we shall overcome it. 
And we shall open up the spiritual realms for the king of glory to come and take his throne in the name of Jesus. We are prevailing in our prayer life. We did not pray enough. We are going to pray this year. We will be found in the place of prayer. We will study the word. We will meditate upon it. We will hear what God is saying. We will be spiritually sensitive. And we will move by the action of the spirit. Our steps shall be ordered by God. We shall not walk in carnal knowledge. We shall not walk in the wisdom of men. We shall walk by the action of the spirit. This is our spiritual wellness. We shall be sensitive to hear what the Lord is saying. We shall wait until the Lord says go. We shall stop when he says stop. We shall move at his movement. At the lifting of the cloud we shall move. And when it stops we will stop. In the name of Jesus. Let us pray for our families. Our families shall make it. None of our families shall be destroyed by the devil. None of our children will be lost. In this year. We shall see our children progress. Our children shall succeed. In the academics, they will make it. In their relationships, they will be prosperous. They will make the right choices. By faith, we are calling them to move in the direction of God. This is the faith we have that our families shall be established. Our marriages shall be established. Our relationships with one another shall be established. This is the faith we are declaring that it shall be well with our families. It shall be well with our children. It shall be well with everything we touch with our hands. It shall be well with the endeavors of our families. It shall be well it shall be well and when the enemy will bring distraction and when he will bring discouragement we speak that it shall be well that we shall be more than overcomers that we shall prevail in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. We speak concerning our health. We declare divine health. We declare that we shall not be defeated by sickness. We shall not succumb to disease. Our bodies shall be responsive. Even when we are attacked by disease and sickness, they shall not be unto death. We shall come out of them. Our bodies will be strong. Our immunity system will be well. It will be healthy. We shall interact with things that are able to cause us to be sick. But they shall by no means harm us. We shall walk on perilous paths. We shall take poison even unknowingly. And they will not harm us. We shall drive on the roads. We shall drive in our car. We shall walk in matatus. We shall travel by air. We shall ride on border borders. We 
shall go by bicycles. We shall cross busy streets. But the Lord will watch over us. The Lord will take care of us. This is the faith we have in him. That it shall be well with us. The devil may attack us. But we shall make it through. We shall come out stronger. We shall not be separated. We shall not be dispersed. See the name of Jesus. This is the faith we have in him. This is the faith we have in him. We shall be united. We shall be unified. We shall be together. This is the faith we have. Our ministries shall be strong. Every department shall be strong. Every leader shall be strong. Every leader shall be sensitive. We shall lead in your direction. We shall receive divine leading. The men will have a strong ministry. The men will have a strong ministry. The women ministry will be strong. The youth shall prevail. The Sunday school shall prevail. The choirs shall prevail. The praise and worship team shall prevail. The media shall prevail. The ushering will prevail. The pastoral team will prevail. The sound team will prevail. The CC will prevail. Every department will prevail. The church will prevail. In the name of Jesus, we shall prevail. We shall prevail. This is our faith. This is our faith. Kangundo shall feed us. Kangundo shall be challenged to Christ. Kangundo shall be changed. Because we are here. The sick in the hospitals. They will be healed. My prayers made here. The discouraged will be lifted through the word spoken here. We shall prevail in the spirit. We take a hold of the spiritual area. We take a hold of the spiritual realms. We take a hold of it. And we influence it by Christ. By the power of God. They shall, they shall be directed to God. We take a hold of them. And we break every power and principality. The spirit of immorality. The spirit of drunkenness. The spirit of drug abuse. The spirit of rebellion. The spirit of stubbornness. Every spirit will bring you to the subjection of the power of God. This year, we shall operate in smoothness. The spirit of the Lord guiding us. The power of the Lord guiding us. This is the faith we have in Him. This is the faith that we have in Him. That we shall prevail in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This is the faith we have in Him. Our centers shall do well. Our centers will do well. Our mission field will be great. Our crusades will be impactful. 
We believe God for money. Our businesses shall produce. Our businesses shall be productive. Every spirit of loss. Every spirit that brings loss. We tear you down in Jesus' name. And we speak profit to our businesses. We speak expansion of businesses. We speak favor in the marketplace. We shall be people to be beheld. In the name of Jesus. The building committee. The building committee will be able to finish the work. You shall provide strategies. And the work of the building will be done. We shall see the projects done. We shall see a great enhancement. A great progress in the work of God. We shall see tangible results. You shall provide, oh God. And the work of the ministry will be completed. Silver and gold belong to you. We thank you because you are giving it to us. We shall acquire good equipment. We shall acquire additional things. You shall provide for the ministry. Although we depend on our little earnings, we depend on an unlimited God. We depend on a rich God. We depend on a God who is able. That is our faith. In the name of Jesus. 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 Every leader, wherever you are, just lift up your hands. If you are leading in any department, just lift up your hands. Father, I pray that in this year, there will be wisdom and insight that, that these leaders will be effective these leaders will prevail you have entrusted the work of the ministry on their hands in the different areas you have entrusted them I pray for wisdom I pray for favor. I pray for direction. I pray for divine success. In the name of Jesus. They are the ones that hold this ministry. Hold them in your hands. In the name of Jesus. Give them a faith that is beyond what they can see. Give them a faith that goes beyond what they can see. Give them a faith that is beyond the discouragement in their ministry. Give them a faith that is beyond the resources they have. I pray that you may enable them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You have a special need and you're trusting God. And you're saying, church, pray with me. In 2022, I need God. Just rise up your hand wherever you are. In the name of Jesus. I pray, Father, that according to their faith, 
you will answer their prayers whatever they may be praying for according to their faith may it come to pass in the year 2022 may they say this is the year that we saw the Lord this is the year that I saw the Lord may they have a testimony concerning this year and I pray that Lord it will not take too long that their faith may be strengthened that their faith may be encouraged that they may trust in you even for more in the name of Jesus may you receive what you are believing God for may, may your faith work for you may your faith work for you and whatever God tells you to do do it because that is the activation of faith in the name of Jesus the name of Jesus Some people are looking at 2022. And all they can see is a mountain. Just stretch forth your faith. God and we kill the mountain you see. Beyond the mountain that you see, just stretch forth your faith. Beyond the mountain, it may look too big. It may look so big. Just stretch forth your faith beyond the mountain. Your faith will work for you.
this is what you are going to do when you face that mountain tell it you are defeated if it speaks to you and tells you how do you know say because I have faith that you are defeated change your language remove every negative talk stop talking about the discouragement stop talking about how things are not good and start talking about how they are good and when they ask you how are they good yet we can see they are bad say I believe they are good